Hello people and welcome back to a new Precious Plastic video. We are back with the Flip Floppy on Lamo Island in Kenya where they are building really cool furniture and boats out of the plastic waste around here. And as promised in this video we are going to show you the full process of how they made this recycled plastic canoe. Enjoy! As first students of Flip Flop we made a dao, a traditional fishing dao, we call it dao lamao which is made of 100% plastic and in this video we'll show you how we did it. Twende! Twende! For the construction of the dao lamao we had to first look at the locally available dows so that we can measure the parts. This is a nail shaped for the rig, this is the muli and the V shaped. Then we had to construct our own molds so that we can get the shapes. Then after the construction, we took the molds to the extrusion. Then we extruded with the locally available plastics which was collected from the community. On the more straight profiles, we had to use the available molds which we have on the workshop. We choose to use 9 by 1.5. It's wide, long and strong. If you have another available size, it's also good. Now we have all materials ready, we can start constructing the bags. We have placed our kill with the supports, then we wanted to make sure the keel is levelized on the same level. We take a hose pipe, which we put water in here, and we make sure the bubbles are not there. Uh, someone is st stays here and the other one stays there. We make sure the keel is straight, horizontal straight, and the width is also being levelized. Now we add the mulis, the front muli and the back muli. We connect the muli to the keel by removing the, the shape. We use the bleach to make sure that the mules are in the correct angle, the front and the back, the bleach, to make sure it is in correct angle. We join the mule to the keel using a bolt and a silicone. Yama, silicone me me back up. Round, round, round. Then we support the the muli with the poles in order to keep it firm. <laughs> now we are on shaping of our daulamao. You can make it narrow where it can be fast in moving to the water, or you can make it a bit wider where it can allow you to carry more stuffs. We lay out our shape and then we put it the mabunda on the position to allow our temporary kinara so as it can allow our mataruma to come on the position. Now we have already arranged the mataruma on its position, L shape here and V shape, which we use on front and back. Before arranging, we make sure we shape it the way we want.
After that, we measure it to make sure you measure the mataruma on its position, like here and here, to be the same, to get the equal size of your dough. After that, we drill them and make it bold. <laughs> Make sure it's permanently there. And now. We put the meat in the can for support. So to not be expand or adjust. Our next step is Wajihi, the face of the hull. We put Kinara to make sure we have shape of the boat and the rest one. We put different color to make sure our boats look beautiful and we fix well. well into our gaps like here 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 and the rest now we started to locate the dough nicely to put tampisi on this side and ferrari and dufani in this side <laughs> This is the fundo, the fundo to make sure the dough is locked perfect. And we cut it the moody on the front and to make sure the nice deck, the crew can sit on the front and the deck. And then after we, we, we go to the back, here we, we cut it the moody on the back, make sure also that the fundo is nice where the curtain can sit on. Now the missing part is uh, the kitanda and uh, for now we are going to turn the boat. Chonzo! Chonzo!
As you have seen our process now, we have turned the boat upside down to stretch in our planks or in the right gauge so there is no gap in between. The bottom part is finished. <laughs> For the ceiling, we add the calafati. The purpose of, of putting the calafati in our boat is to make sure that it is in compact and uh, the water doesn't get in and it fits. And for the screw and covering it with the plastic is to make sure that water doesn't get in. And for the bottom is uh, the gaps which were left. We have kept the calafati and we have put the plastic. Here in plastic, it's more like welding because we melt the plastic, which is in compact with the plastic planks and uh, it fits very well that the water doesn't get in. What are we doing now? Uh, we want to... <laughs> Alafu? Then we put it on the wheelbarrow. Sour. Okay, but I want to come and see you. Do you come Kazi ya mstamu hii, ni kushikilia hii mlingoti. Tukimaliza mlingoti, shamaliza, tukaika dasturi. Hii dasturi, inashikia changa. Tamaliza hapa kwenye msukani. Tunaika msukani haki hapa, hii ndio steering, hii ndio msukani wa aboti. Tukimaliza hiyo, tuna... Chora changa, changa tushali maliza, tumechora, kuchorea mazingira, kuonyesha mazingira. Kimalizia hiyo ndo mutayona, tunasafiri na ayoboti. Alright, ready for a sailing lesson now. Eh? Oh, my God. 